let us now talk about judicial activism judicial activism refers to the proactive role played by the judiciary in protecting the rights of the citizens and in ensuring that the governance operates within the bounds of the law now what is meant by proactive well if the court simply responds to the issues that are brought before it and just uh, limits itself to interpreting the law then that is a reactive approach because the court is simply reacting to the issues that are brought before it on the other hand if the court recognizes the actual issue that needs to be addressed and expands or adapts the laws as required that is a proactive approach where the court is going beyond the minimum requirements for example in the vishaka versus state of rajasthan case the minimum requirement was to address the case on hand but the court did not just address the case on hand the court also recognized that there was a broader need to have some fundamental guidelines to address harassment of women at the workplace and the court formulated the vishaka guidelines these uh, vishaka guidelines were also instrumental in the eventual enactment of the posh act in 2013 in the oleum gas leak case the court did not just address the specific case but went on to expand the scope of article 21 to include the right to a healthy environment as a part of the right to life similarly in the kesavananda bharati case the court went on to say that it has the power to review and to strike down any constitutional amendments that alter the basic structure of the constitution another good example is the mohini jain versus state of karnataka case this case was primarily about the charging of capitation fee even here the court not just address the issue on hand it also expanded the scope of article 21 and said that the right to life includes the right to education this uh, proactive action by the court led to the addition of a separate article article 21a to cover the right to education and later on led to the right to education act so the process of judicial review is where the court performs its constitutional duty to review the actions of the three branches of the government and ensure that they adhere to the letter of the constitution judicial activism is where the court goes beyond a mere review and a mere interpretation of the laws and actually looks at expanding the scope of the law to implement its true spirit and meet the needs of the society a judicial review of the right to life would have been limited to the normal meanings and definitions of the right to life whereas a proactive activism approach led to the expansion of the concept of right to life to include a right to education